hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to see how to print this hollow square pattern okay so this question was asked by one of my subscribers he asked me how to print uh, empty square so I told him I'll take that pattern into consideration so here it is alright so in this figure you can see uh, the indexing is starting from 0 and it is ending at 4 so that means it has 5 rows and over here uh, also the indexing is, is starting from 0 and it is ending at 4 so that means it has 5 columns okay so here I am in Jupyter Notebook uh, first let me initialize a variable called num and take the input from the user so num equals int input enter the number for rows and columns okay so uh, why am I putting in over here is because input function by default is a uh, string type okay we need to type cast it uh, that's the reason why I am putting in okay so now that I have taken uh, the input from the user so first I need to take one for loop for rows and one for loop for columns okay so let's do that for i in range of num okay and then for j in range of num okay so here you need to understand the range function if I don't provide any initial value it's gonna consider it as 0 and it's gonna go till uh, go till num minus 1 if the user enters uh, the num value as 5 it's gonna go till 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 it's not gonna go till 5 okay same case is over here if you want it to start uh, from 1 you what you can do is you can place 1 over there and if you want it to end at 5 can give num plus one all right so I'm not gonna do that I'll just leave it default all right so it's gonna start from zero and it's gonna end till four uh, that's those are the values we want okay so here you can see the uh, indexing is zero and ending at four so that means the user has entered num equals five and also uh, same case in columns okay so we need to print these stars at zero throw as well as at four throw okay so for that what I'll do is I'll take a if condition so if I equals equals zero or I equals equals one so that that is not the end of it so here and also uh, we need to print stars whenever the column value is 0 as well as 4 okay so we need to consider that condition as well so j equals 0 or j equals sorry why did I put 1 over here I need to go till num num minus 1 okay that is if the user enters uh, num value as 5 we need to go till num minus 1 that is pi minus 1 that is 4 okay so that is num minus 1 so same case over here num minus 1 all right I need to print what I need to print star okay by default the print uh, function takes the new line we don't want that to happen we uh, so I want it to end it in a straight line so for that I'm gonna give end equals empty so uh, it will print uh, the stars in a single line okay so after that if uh, this condition is satisfied it's going to print star and if this condition fails to satisfy what we need to print is these empty spaces okay so please uh, note that the gap over uh, here is more when, con when compared to here that is because the mm, the Microsoft paint has built that way so uh, I can't do much about that so uh, yeah, this is square okay this is not rectangle so same case uh, over here in Jupyter notebook as well so just ignore that 
consider it as a square okay if this condition fails what I need to print is I need to print empty okay and here also I need to end in a straight line okay so this is done after every ith loop I need to jump to the new line so for that I'll print just the new line okay so uh, notice over here this print function is inside this for loop but not inside this for loop okay this is uh, so these of uh, this for loop and this print function are in the same line so okay so this print function is not inside this for loop this second jth for loop okay so please take care of the indentation indentation is one of the most important thing in python all right so the coding part is over i hope everyone understood this one so let's just execute and give it some value so it is asking me to enter the number for rows and columns i'm gonna give five there you have it so let's just execute this one more time and give another value i'm gonna give eight so uh, please note that the space over here is more when con uh, when compared to the space over here that is because uh, the Jupyter notebook has built that way so this is square so don't get confused that this is a rectangle so this is square all right uh, all right guys I hope you guys learned something new if you guys like this type of content consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one until next time take care